There you go. Let me throw you out my philosophy and then we'll, we'll have communion together, okay? I'm of the opinion that most people are addicts. Have you ever considered yourself to be an addict? I consider that most human beings are addicted to something. Uh, if you can't think of what you might be addicted to, let me ask you a question. At 10 o'clock or so, where are you going to be? In bed. Uh, how long are you going to stay there? Until mm, 6 o'clock. Are we somewhat addicted to sleeping? All right. Okay. Um, uh, some of you might be runners or you go to the gym. All right. Are you addicted to that? Well, it's part of your life, right? Okay. Uh, are some of us addicted to good food? Come on now. Join me here. Okay, right, right. Um, I have to admit, I'm addicted to coffee. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've scaled down a whole bunch. Uh, but you don't want to be around me if I don't have at least one cup in the morning, okay? All right, I, I admit that, okay? Um, I think I have an addictive personality, okay? Lynn accuses me of this, that every time I get into something, I get way into it, okay? I guess the bigger the boy, the bigger the toy, right, okay? Right? So here it comes. I'm going to finish with this. I would consider that all of us are nuts. Just be screwed onto the right bolt. If you're an addict, then addict yourself to that which is good and clean and pure and godly. And if you're going to be under the influence, be under the influence of the living Lord God and His Holy Spirit that indwells Christians. That's where we're supposed to be, aren't we? Okay. And yet, we celebrate this. Because Jesus said, ready for this, here it comes, as oft as you do this, do it, say it again, Everybody say it. In remembrance of me. So the bottom line of this is that when we do this, we remember that he gave his body broken that we might have salvation. That his blood was spilled, but we drink of it, this juice, as a reminder that Jesus lives within we Christians. And to, we're to always be under his influence. I'm going to ask you to bow your hearts and your heads with me. I'm grateful that the kids have joined us. And with our heads and our hearts bowed together. Uh, Mel, you can go ahead and start playing. We're going to sing a, a, a chorus. He is Lord, he is Lord. Okay? But with your heads and your hearts bowed. Is Jesus in your heart where he belongs? Is the Holy Spirit controlling your life? Before you act, before you say, before you do, before you go, is it because the Holy Spirit is empowering you? That's the bottom line. This morning, as we sing, I still want to extend an invitation for any here to come to trust Him as Savior. Maybe to say, according to our church covenant, I'd like to belong to this church. Maybe you need to be baptized. Maybe you simply need to join this church from a sister church. But as we sing, as the Holy Spirit might be bumping on your heart, then come in obedience to Him. With our heads bowed, our eyes closed, many of you might know the words of this song by heart. Let's sing it together. He is Lord. He is Lord.
sing that one more time and would my servers come up?